everybody, it's your boy. Then got a plan back like in a video, man. I'm kind of, kind of a little bit bummed out because y'all didn't really get to see the actual video that I had made because it's a few technical difficulties. But you know, I'm gonna work on them, and by next week, I'm gonna try to make sure that everything is good. So. So, y'all know what today is. It's Mock Draft Thursday. I don't know that's why I do them on Thursday, but they just... Okay, so let's start the song. Y'all already know where I'm going. Number one pick, Joe Burrow. <laughs> the Cincinnati Bengals hero, as we quote-unquote want to call him. So, yeah, this... No introduction, man, and had one of the best college seasons. I didn't see him in a long time, so man, it's just downright amazing. So I ain't gonna take too much time on these first two picks of him. You know, second, Chase Young. <laughs> you know what they're trying to do up there. Up there and watch. Okay, this is where the draft get interesting. At the third pick, bro, they might, <laughs> Detroit might flirt with Trey now, or. Something or they third pick. I think it's gonna end up being a quarterback. Bro. I'm not saying Detroit is gonna take a quarterback. Either they gonna trade down or they gonna trade Matt Stafford. So, but we got him today. We got him going with Jeff Akuda. Jeff Akuda, pair him up with Darius Slay. Get you two solid, two all pro great corners and put them both together. Man, it's gonna be some magic down there in New York. We got them taking Jerry Willis. You're going to have to be able to protect Daniel Jones and uh, make holes for Saquon Barkley. So. And number five, Miami Dolphins have been waiting on this man for about 50 years, ain't they? <laughs> Since they had all, uh, <laughs> what is his name? <laughs> Dan Marino. Since they had old Dan Marino, they've been waiting on somebody like Tua. So they got old Tua. You know, two way five, Mikhail and Beckford. Beckton. Going to the LA Chargers. And the only reason why I'm saying this is because I just got a feeling, man, Tom Brady might go and play for the Chargers. I just have a feeling. So and number seven. Carolina Panthers selecting Derek Brown. Derek Brown, a dominant defensive tackle. He's able to really push the pocket pass. But man, he can do anything you want him to do from the defensive tackle position. And number eight, I got the Arizona Cardinals going with Jerry Judy. You know everybody's going to say, what about the offense line? What about the offense line? Now, give him a guy like Jerry Judy, a refined Bro, this dude, Jerry Judy, he just... Him and, him and CeeDee Lamb are the two best wide receivers in the draft. It's either just pick your poison with either one of them. So, that's why I got him going with Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy, he's he just a, a grown man, bro. <laughs> Y'all get that word kind of down there. Because <laughs> I'm only going to... I just one of my words to say when I'm really you know, really inspired by some player or something like that when I really think they, you know, they're real good to call him a grown man, so you already know, Isaiah Simmons, the Jack Knife, the Swiss Army Knife, or whatever you want to call him, I got him going to the Jaguars, y'all already know, bro, the number 10, the Cleveland Rock, I got them going with Andrew Thomas, you want to know why I got him going with Andrew Thomas, why? Because, bruh, it's Andrew Thomas. This boy was one of the best tackles in the SEC. Then he gets to go and play in Cleveland with Odell, Juice, Landry, Odell, Baker Mayfield, Dave, David and Joku. Oh, come on now, bruh. Come on now, bruh. They need somebody to protect them and, you know, make sure the wide receivers and tight ends get the ball. Open some holes from Nick Chubb. You know what I'm talking about. Number 11, we got Tristan Wars going too. We got Tristan Wars going to New York Jets. New York Jets, they need offense line bad. Like, they have to take one with the first round pick, so. And number 12, is your boy, the Las Vegas Raiders select C.D. Lamb. Hey, y'all get ready for that, because 
I'm already, I'm a visionary. See these lambs? I was like, it's Raiders, bro. They go hand in hand. Give Derek Carr a weapon to throw to. You know, you just got him Josh Jacobs last season. Go ahead and get him, get him a true number one receiver in CD Lamb, and let's really see what Derek Carr can do. Give him one more year. Let's see what he can do, man. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all might get Tom Brady, whoever it is. Whoever y'all quarterback is, give him somebody to throw to. I mean, Terrell Williams, he cool, but he ain't no number one. <clears throat> let's on to the next one. Number 13. Everybody already know what's going on. We got the Indianapolis Colts selecting your boy, Jordan Love. Valentine's Day tomorrow, you already know. <laughs> it's time to feel the love. Jordan Love, he's coming to the Indianapolis Colts. I mean, right now, but don't be surprised. I do do feel like we're going to get at least one of those one of those quarterbacks that's floating out there at least for one year. So Jordan Love, he can sit behind and learn and, you know, work with Frank Wright. And then they figure out a scheme. And then they next year they take off, they put that scheme around him. And then, bam, we go from there. <clears throat> and number 14, Javon Kellogg to the Temple Bay Buccaneers. The Bucks, you know, they really get that guy in Javon Kellogg. Guy that really that can help that D line right now. So, and we got number fifteen. We got Christian Fulton going to the Denver Broncos. And Denver Broncos, for y'all come out the woodwork, come out. Oh man, we need a wide receiver, bro. What? Who is our head coach? What is he known for? Defense. So it's the only way y'all think y'all can get back to doing what y'all used to do when y'all won Super Bowl 50. Y'all got to get that defense back. Get some help for Von Miller, bro. <laughs> Duke Locke, he, he got on the offensive end. <laughs> y'all might get a guy in free agency or something like that, you know. Feel me? Number 16. I got the Atlanta Falcons going with uh, Kayvon Chason. An edge rusher. I heard they let go of Vic Diesel. <laughs> per they sources. So, so you give them the next big thing. You get them a guy from LSU, an edge rusher. That can really come in and, you know, have a good amount of sacks for them and really help that edge rush position. And number 17, since it's looking a little dead on the board, we got to go on here. We got to get the Cowboys somebody. And we're going to give him. Chanel, we're going to get him LeVit Chanel Jr. from, yeah, we're going to give him LeVit Chanel Jr., that man, that weapon, This they use this guy as running back, they use this guy as wide receiver, you know what I'm trying to say, bro, just a weapon they can just have, because you finna pay that man, Dak Prescott, go on ahead and get this man some weapons, go on ahead and let this offense take off, bro. It was already no one last season, but you can't sit down on your morals, and that's right. If, if whatever it's for, if Randall Cobb ain't coming back, go on ahead and get you a guy like Chanel. So, bro, you can have the best core wide receivers, bro. Get you a good good amount of wide receivers and keep on building up that core, bro. That press guy, he, he constantly needs people to, you know, he's going to need y'all to put some talent around him, bro. I'm not saying he needs some help, but you know what I'm trying to say, bro. Being a 40, you know, 35, 37, whatever y'all going to pay him, bro. Y'all going to need to go ahead and surround him with talent so he can succeed, bro. And that's going to be coming from the draft, bro. So y'all go ahead. Y'all get this man Chenault and let this man Dak work, bro. Y'all need to stop talking about old Dak Prescott, man. Let that man work, bro. He in the Cowboys. He... He playing for the Cowboys. He trying to do his thing, man. Let him work. Number 18, we got AJS Vanessa. We got him going to the Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins, they got him going there. Man, that's going to be a crazy thing right there. Him, oh, AJS Vanessa going to the Dolphins. They get them a nice young pass rusher to come in and help them out. Number 19, we got the old. Oh, I still feel weird. 
You got the Las Vegas Raiders selecting Kenneth Murray from Oklahoma. Man, bro. You know, I'm doing it right for the Oakland Raiders. I got them CD Lamb and Kenneth Murray, bro. That's two. That's two positions they've been missing for a long time, bro. Get some help on that defensive end. Charlie Cruz, I'm trying to tighten it up for you, buddy. I'm trying to get everything right for you. So, and we get number 20. We got the Jacksonville Jaguars, and they're selecting C.J. Henderson, a guy that can come in and be groomed up to be their number one corners because you got to think about it. A.J. Bouye, he ain't going to get no yonker. You know, you lost Jalen Ramsey. I'm not saying he's coming in to replace Jalen Ramsey, but I'm saying he's coming in to, you know, fortify your cornerback positions because it looks a little weak right now. In number 21, we got the Philadelphia Eagles selecting Henry Ruggs III, one of the fastest guys at the Combine who's going to literally just destroy the Combine. I got him going up here to the Eagles, which I do kind of see the Eagles having to move up to 13 to get him. I do understand this. So the Eagles are probably going to have to move up to 13 with the Colts to get him. I do see that kind of like a... Switch a rule. I do see the Eagles going up to 13 and the Colts going down to 21. I do see that. Maybe they give us third or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Something like that to really just make it happen. And number 22, we got the Buffalo Bills. T. Higgins. Got to get that boy Josh Allen, a big wide receiver that can move to. Man. I know y'all saying, it's somebody here that ain't letting call out. Well, you know, next up on the list, we got your, we got the New England Patriots selecting Justin Herbert, quarterback from Oregon, which people going to say, like, man, really, how is he going? But I'm just saying, he's going to fall a little bit further. I don't. Like, I like Justin Herbert, but bro, I just feel like he'll fall a little bit further and go to somebody like New England so he can really hone on his skills. It'll really help him out. Let me see number 20. Number 20. Who's on 24? Number 24. Number 24. Let me see. Sorry, y'all. I missed a pick somewhere. Let me go back and find number 24 real quick. Sorry, y'all. Oh, I got the New Orleans Saints selecting Justin Jefferson from LSU. Get another guy. Whoever's going to be your quarterback, get another guy for him to throw to. Michael Thomas can only do so much. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get it. Number 25, we got your boy, Trayvon Diggs, cornerback from Alabama. He's going to come in. He's going to be able to, you know, fit into Mike Zimmer's system. Y'all losing. What's his face? What's his face? What's his face? We don't know if Xavier Rose will be there anymore. So, you have to find him find a way to get you another corner and you know that boy Mike Zimmerman that's his specialty right there he groom up corners and he gets them right too so in number 26 we got the Miami Dolphins selecting Josh Jones offensive tackle they really need to get somebody in here at the old tackle position to really help their quarterback who's going to be their future quarterback to a tackle of a lower but probably won't make his debut too Maybe the next season, but still, you got to get somebody in there to protect them. Raiders fans, Dolphin fans, how y'all feeling? Jaguar fans, I've I'm, I'm been doing pretty good with y'all, man. I know I have, so y'all don't be complaining. Oh, somebody be complaining. I've been trying to help out everybody team, man, even if that means shooting my team in the foot. <laughs> We got the Seattle Seahawks because Seattle Seahawks, they always want to overthink people. They want to overthink the room or whatnot to do this, do that. We got them taking Terrell Lewis. <laughs> yeah, Terrell Lewis. It's just, no, it's kind of like a different position, but maybe they can 
finally get that position right. That'll be a, another guy that they can have at the pass for position. Because we don't know if they're going to keep Clowney or not. And then it'll still be, it'll just, it'll be uh, Lewis and LJ Caller. Yeah, you have a lot of another body to send that people in. Number 28, we have the Baltimore Ravens selecting Yo Toast, Gross, My Toast from Penn State. This guy right here, he's going to be a monster, bro. Whoever draft him, they gonna they gonna have a good good guy that's gonna come in that's gonna work his tail off. Who I really like, so you know. Number twenty nine, we got the Tennessee Titans selecting Lord Cushionberry the third. See, as I just say, just go ahead and get your offensive line intact. Do whatever you got to do to make sure that offensive line is intact. And if that's going to get an interior person to help you out. You got to do what you got to do. Protect your quarterback. Quarterback and running back is free agents, but still protect whoever it's going to be, bro. That's all I'm just saying. And number 30, we got the Green Bay Packers selecting Bryce Hop Bryson Hopkins. A tight end. It's going to be a pretty good, pretty good tight end. Another guy that Aaron Rodgers can throw at or whatnot. So, you know. Give him a little help. Look like in championship game, he can have no help. So maybe adding a tight end would add that next dimension to their offense. So number 31, Xavier McKinley to the San Francisco 49ers. Seems like a pretty good pickup or whatnot for them. They get another guy. It's in that secondary to boost their secondary. So they can hope to make another Super Bowl run. Number 32, the Kansas City Chiefs select DeAndre Swift, running back from Georgia. Had to go ahead and put a little running, running back up in there on 32 because that would be a, you know, really good player. Old, old Swift, y'all already know how I, I Swift coming. Y'all know what he doing, bro. I don't know. Like, this running back group is kind of like... You're looking at one guy, you're thinking he's the best, and you look at another guy, and you think he's the best, and I just, it just came down to me as a fit. You really need a guy that's two-dimensional, so you can really uh, be another weapon for Patrick Mahomes. Which I know everybody going to say, oh man, well Patrick Mahomes, he, he's a good quarterback, he really don't need all this stuff. No, 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 no. We gonna give him another weapon so we can have another dump off him just in case. So, because sometimes you have to dump the ball out, bro. You know, you can have a this guy right here, oh DeAndre Swift. I'm looking at him to have like one of those super exponential roles. You know, one of those <sighs> great roles. You know, like to take people over by storm. So hopefully. It is the guy for the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, y'all like, subscribe, comment, turn on the post notification. I mean, tell me what you think about your team, man. I know with my team, number 13, old Jordan Love. I, I'm feeling the love for old Jordan Love, man. I just, he's my, he's my boy. I seem like, it seems like we're going to be in a real good position, isn't it? And what's the crazy thing about it? It works for both parties because we need a quarterback of the future and he needs to be able to sit and we can offer those two things for him right now at this moment. And it seems like to me we may be able to peel back just a little bit and accumulate a couple more assets and still get Jordan Love. And on top of that, you know, whoever moving up, they can get the guy who they want. So, I mean, it works good out for everybody. So... All right, then, y'all, would like and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications. I'm out. Peace.